strategy message, USS Canali to USS Cheyenne. We are under attack by Borg forces. Repeat, Borg forces. We intercepted two Borg vessels heading on a direct course for Sector 001. Subspace Center is too weak. Have an order to learn Starfleet command. If you can read us, do not repeat. Do not send help. We are lost. Warn Starfleet. The Borg have returned. Repeat, the Borg have returned. O seven thirty means O seven thirty, cadet. Sit down. First, the captain wanted me to convey his regrets for not being here himself. As I'm sure you've heard, Starfleet is amassing an armada in Sector 001 to defend against the latest Borg incursion. We, or rather our ship, is on her way to join them. Starfleet has successfully defeated the Borg twice before, and we have every expectation of successfully stopping them now. However, given the probability of armed conflict, the captain has ordered that all non-essential personnel, including visiting Starfleet cadets, be transferred off the ship to a safer venue at the medical research facility on Marnus 3. Please have your gear packed and be at Shuttle Bay 3 in 30 minutes. Dismissed. Cadet Furlong. A moment, please. The captain has denied your request to stay on board, Cadet. I'm sorry. The massacre 10 years ago at Wolf 359 was a great tragedy for the Federation. I was only one year out of the academy when it happened. A lot of my classmates died there. Now, each year I get older and they stay the same. I understand your need for justice. I'm sorry. Shuttle Bay 3 in 30 minutes. Your father was killed, nine, ten years old, and you're still not over it? Perhaps I should introduce myself. I imagine you've heard of me, though, Q. It's short for Q. It was I, you know, who introduced Picard to the Borg, and it's because of me that ten years ago the Borg came to Wolf 359 and found that fleet of ships and found your father and killed them all. At 0800 hours during the Battle of Wolf 359, the USS Righteous such a noble name, Righteous, was hit by an unknown Borg weapons discharge and vaporized. Vaporized. <sighs> no trace. Nothing to bury, nothing to mourn. The Borg took it all away from you in an instant. I understand your desire for justice. They don't, though, do they? But I do. You want action. You want to avenge your father's death. You want to kill Borg. What sentient. Yet still barbaric, bipedal hominid wouldn't. You can run away with the others like a scared trog, or you can come with me, cadet. The choice is yours. I have a choice. I'd rather just run away and live a peaceful life. But I guess that won't be any fun. Excellent choice, monsieur. Keep the phaser, you're going to need it. And take this too. Be careful now. Don't lose it. I only made one. Time! Oh, 0758, sir. Keep those phases firing, and where are my photon torpedoes? Armed and ready, Captain. Have a look. I can't see you. 
Let's see if we can shake them up a little, Ensign. Initiating Delta attack, sir. I'm reading the small weakness in the shields. Shields are holding fine, but power is down 10%. Weapons having no effect. Damn, they've adjusted their shields already. Why is it always the difficult species that are the most adaptable? The Borg adapt their environment to suit their needs. True adaptability involves changing oneself to suit their environment. I'm so glad you cleared that up. Recognize this place? You should. You keep a picture of it on your wall. The bridge of the USS Righteous. Your father's ship. The Tolstoy just took a major hit. This is him, isn't it? Well, I can see the family resemblance. You think she's pulling away? The Kyushu's coming on strong. Melbourne and Saratoga have lost power. Tolstoy, Kyushu, Saratoga, Melbourne. Recognize the names? Do you know where you are, cadet? Captain! Intruder alert. Security, isolate the ops console now. Uh, that's right, 10 years ago. Wolf 359. Security! Look at him. He's barely older than you are. He shouldn't be at security. But four hours ago, the real security officer, Lieutenant Sprint, was killed. And this first year, Ensign had to take his place. And because of his inexperience, everybody on board, including your father, will be killed. The phases are useless. Just isolate the panel now. If Lieutenant Sprint were still alive, he might be able to save the ship. But he's been dead for four hours. No wonder they don't want him on the bridge. Come on, can't you move faster? <laughs> Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Thaddeus Quint. He actually tried to save Sprint's life, but as you can see, he failed the old goat. <laughs> well, what'd you expect? He's a doctor, not a security officer. Still, if he had only had a little more creativity... But he didn't. He's gone past the security lockout. <laughs> Doctor, he's dead. Shield mutation is shifting on its own. Shields are dropping. Uh-oh. I need shields back up now. Death in battle. If it were Klingon, he'd be ecstatic. Ooh, I like this guy. Captain, there's a type beam transmission going directly to the board queue. Computer is uploading data about emergency transporters. Anyone near Jeffrey 6, we need manual power rerouted through the secondary couplings. It's too late. The board cube is firing. Invasive maneuvers. So, now that you've seen your father die, are you ready to avenge his death? Or would you like to try something different? How about a chance to prevent his death? Lieutenant Sprint was killed four hours before the Righteous even got to Wolf 359. But if the good Dr. Quint had been able to save Sprint four hours before, then Sprint would have been able to save the righteous, and you would have grown up in the loving company of your father, and all for the want of a horseshoe nail. What say we give the old goat a second chance to save Sprint's life? You're not afraid of a little space-time continuum meddling, are you, cadet? No, I thought not. Shall we? This is Lieutenant Sprint. Do you think he knows he's gonna die? I don't think so. Don't bother saying hello. Just makes saying goodbye that much harder. Time, Mr. Furlong. Oh, 400 hours, sir. Is the queue within sensor range yet? Coming up now, Captain. Match speed, stay with it. Setting a pursuit course. Shields up. Intruder alert. Sprint, look out! Shall we dance? Sprint, make a choice. Why is this even a choice? What are we going to do with this tricorder? Throw it at its head? <laughs> Quint wasn't clever enough to think of it. Good thing I am. The board cube is pulling ahead. It's ignoring us completely. Match speed. Keep us within close range. Remember, a sprint should have died right here. Everything you do in his place from this moment on changes history. Invigorating, isn't it? Meddling with fate. Lieutenant, are you all right? Sprint? <laughs> He's an ox. Nothing scares him. And nothing hurts him. Isn't that right, Lieutenant? <laughs> there are all kinds of pain, Lieutenant. Don't let the fact that you are Bajani prevent you from acknowledging the hurt. Oh, please. 
Captain, coded message coming in from Admiral Hansen. He's ordering us to proceed with all speed to rendezvous with the rest of the fleet at Wolf 359, requesting us not to engage the Borg. Until then, maintain radio silence until contacted. Helm laying a course for Wolf 359. Pull ahead of the Borg cube and then match speed. Aye, sir. ETA at current speed, four hours, five minutes. Good. We don't want them to get there before we do. And Targus, get that thing off my bridge. Yes, sir. shoot targus that would be the fun option the obvious option is shooting the borg but we have to go in a different route in this situation i'm okay definitely dead this time then get him definitely off my bridge this time. Mr. Sprint, reconfigure your security console so you can control Tactical B. Then meet me down at the computer core. I want to secure this ship in case the Borg try and board us again. Good shooting. How about... Quick thinking, Quint. Good work, Quint. Nobody ever gives me any credit for anything I do. That's because we don't like you, Quint. I think we can all save our hostility for the Borg where it will be better placed, don't you? Let me ask you something, Baraka. Do you just spout these platitudes, or are you deluded enough to actually believe in them? Come on, Quint. No matter how hard you try, you're not going to change my mind. I still like you. <laughs> he kissed me. What are you staring at? Oh, of course, your father. This must be strange for you, knowing he may be about to die, knowing this may be your only chance to talk to him, tell him all about yourself, about the years since he died. I wouldn't if I were you. When he looks at you, all he sees is Lieutenant Sprint. I don't think he'd understand. Hey, Sprint. What, are you having one of your Bajani trances? See? Lieutenant Sprint, the console, please. There is a reason why we were staring at that panel for a few seconds. Q has given us a special tricorder which we can access while the game is paused. We can use it on people and objects to learn more about our environment. There is a slight pause to give you time to access the tricorder, as if you start touching random nodules, fun things happen. Security console, reconfigurable bridge panel. Though bridge stations traditionally follow a set pattern, this pattern is neither required by Federation protocol, nor is it hard designed into the bridge layout. All bridge consoles can be easily configured to control any of a number of bridge functions, allowing the captain, in consultation with his engineers, to design his bridge to his personal or species preference. To reconfigure a panel, an understanding of the function of the four main nodules is critical. Or, you could end up dead. Nodule 1, the delimiter carries a signal charge. It is always live, unless deactivated by engineering. Careful, the charge is painful. It won't kill you, but it'll hurt. Nodule 2, the power nodule, is the source of power for all bridge stations. It is always live, unless deactivated by engineering. Careful, this one won't hurt. It'll just make you very dead. Nodule 3, a signable nodule. This is one of the several nodules used to define console functions. In this example, the nodule defines the console as a security console only. To control tactical in addition to security, the nodule must be removed. Careful, though. It's hot, live, energized. Not enough juice to kill you, but enough to make you wish you were dead. To turn off the feed, remove... Nodule 4. The conduit. First! Then remove Nodule 3. Replace nodule four, et voila! Now, 
You're cooking with replicators. Of the sprint. I'm waiting for you down in the core room, Lieutenant. Now! It's just his way. You'll get used to it. Yeah, but I'd still hurry if I were you. The captain definitely does not like to be kept waiting. You do know how to get to the core room, don't you, Sprint? Code. Another long, lingering gaze. I'm guessing that we can't speak, so it's time to access the tricord again. Turbo lift manual interface. Federation turbo lifts are capable of processing verbal commands in over 13,000 languages. For those species unable to interact verbally, and during ship emergencies, a turbolift destination code can be manually relayed into the turbolift computer via the interface. For a list of turbolift destination codes, see the ship schematic. USS Righteous Schematic. A general visual overview of the USS Righteous. Key areas such as bridge, crew quarters, engineering, computer core control, are highlighted. More information is available on all areas, including turbo lift designation codes. We can only go to the computer core. Any other input is treated as a wrong answer. Buddy, I guess I beat you down here. Mr. Sprint! I am a very tolerant captain, except when it comes to punctuality. I suggest you become more familiar with this ship's layout so you don't keep us waiting again. Do I make myself clear? We were trying to route all of the ship's controls through the security systems as an extra precaution, but something kept rejecting all of our attempts to access the security programs. And that's when we found this. It's obviously Borg, but how did it get on the ship, and what is its purpose? It seems to be tied in directly to the security systems, locking us out. Question is, how do we remove it? Sprint, you're the security officer. What do you think? There are four options in front of us. We can either remove the object, access the control panel, or use the instruments above. But sometimes the best option is not to do anything, as we don't know what it is exactly. Mr. Sprint is right. Until we know more about Borg technology, I don't think we should make any attempts to interfere with the implant directly. Captain, we were within transporter range for only 6.7 seconds. Mm -hmm. I don't see how the Borg transported to the bridge and implanted the circuit unless... Unless there were two of them. 
If there is another Borg on this ship, he's found a way to screen against our usual senses. I'll get Targus to scan against anomalies. See what you can do to help. Targus, enough. You've got the scan so sensitive, they're going to alert us if a particle of dust falls. If that particle of dust falls off a Borg, then I want to know about it. You're too cautious. You're too lax. Sprint, Wait, tell him. <laughs> you know, if it weren't for me, you guys wouldn't have had any fun at the Academy. <laughs> if it weren't for me, you guys wouldn't have graduated from the Academy. What? Well, Lieutenant Furlong, Lieutenant Sprint, and Ensign Targus. Somehow that's not quite how I pictured it. That's not your fault. Every time I see that thing, it reminds me of how much courage it must have taken for you just to be here. And of how much we both owe Sprint. Just don't let Sprint here. His head's big enough already. What exactly do you owe him? You'll spend the rest of your life a slave to technology. I'm not a slave to it. In six months, a year at the most, I won't even need this. In three hours, four at the most, we won't even be alive. Unless we're Borg. <sighs> Dr. Quinn is testing the boundaries of the humanoid ability to maintain affection for him which he thinks he's not worthy of. So what he does is he tries to make everyone dislike him. Well, he's very good at that. <laughs> he's right about one thing. We could end up as Borg. And I know the last thing I want to have happen to me is to be assimilated into the Collective. We won't let it happen to any of us. Better dead than Borg. Agreed? Even Quint. Not even Quint deserves to be Borgified. But the Borg definitely deserve Quint. We got him. Somewhere in Jeffrey's tube six. Sprint, furlong. Take a couple of fully charged phasers, flush out the Borg, and neutralize him. Understood? Yes, sir. security, but I do outrank you. Yeah, it's only by three weeks, but I think that would stand up in case of a court-martial. I'll tell you what. There are several situations in this game where you can only find the answer by failing, and this is the first of many. Oh, and by the way, the game is rigged. It would be nice if this was the answer to most situations in life. <laughs> as much as it's tempting to beat the shit out of him, we are here for another purpose. I'm wondering why we had to knock this guy out, but if we can't actually speak, then we have to communicate in other ways. Before I answer this, I'm going to show you the sequence in full. See if you can guess for yourself. There you go. Did you guess? You have less than two seconds to press that nondescript button on the bottom 
Otherwise, you have to repeat the section over and over again. Tuning the phaser to a higher EM band frequency. You're right, they probably already adapted to the old ones. Nice shot. What did you think I was gonna do? Cheat? Let's go see what this circuit can tell us. 